This job. We try to save as many people as we can. Sometimes that doesn't mean everybody. But you don't give up. I'm sorry, Tony. If I see a situation pointed south, I can't ignore it. Sometimes I wish I could. Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. I could do this all day. Correct me if I am an error, Sir Thomas, but I've read, sir, that if you were to bring one of the slaves back to England, there would be some argument as to whether or not they should be freed here. If I'm not mistaken. It must be the moral taste and the steadfastness of her heart that illuminate her eyes and give such a glow to her cheek. Please, gentlemen, Fanny Price is almost as fearful of notice and praise as other women are of neglect. Most discerning, Miss Crawford. Thank you, Mr. Bertram. I have it. A ball at Mansfield Park, in honor of Fanny. We shall bring her out and introduce Miss Fanny Price to society. Surely some young man of good standing will sit up and take notice. I'm certain she will glide about with quiet, light elegance in an admirable time. You must excuse me. I think I have something. Miss Austin. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Lefroy. Bridget, what are you doing? I read that you should never go out with someone if you can think of three reasons why you shouldn't. And can you think of three? Yes. Which are? Well, first, I'm, I embarrass you. I can't ski, I can't ride, I can't speak Latin. My legs only come up to here, and yes, I will always be just a little bit fat. And you, you fold your underpants before you go to bed. No, hang on. That, that, that can't be a reason. No, it's not a reason. But you're not perfect either. You look down your nose at absolutely everyone. And you're incapable of doing anything spontaneous or potentially affectionate. It feels like you're waiting to find someone in the VIP room who's, who's so fantastic, just the way she is, that you don't need to fix her. Bridget, this is mad. Perhaps you've already found her. Do you want to marry me? Look, I... You see, you can never muster the strength to fight for me. What is still with nothing to say? You altogether are a human being, Jean. I conscientiously believe so. Dream. 